Hey guys, what's up? Paul DeVecchio, Tripoli Productions. I only have 10 minutes to get through this because YouTube is only going to allow me to do 10 minutes. So let's get through this real quick. Um, I hear a lot of people talking about the Final Cut trim mode and saying that it sucks. I don't believe that's the case. It's not on par with Avid, but it is a very usable tool and uh, I suggest that you guys try to use it, especially if you're Avid editors coming over to Final Cut and you like using the keyboard to edit. Let's just jump in real quick. Okay, so I have this set up. Let me just fix this. Whoops. All right. So um, as I do that, okay, let me bring up the keyboard here. Now, um, a few things I want to go over real quick. Uh, if I hit Command U, that's how I get into trim mode. So I just hit uh, Command U and you know the trim mode window pops up. You can also uh, have the E key, um, and that's uh, that's the what is it the uh, trim selection or edit selection tool. I have that mapped to the E key, and I have over here for the M key it's uh, minus many trim minus many, and then if you move over here trim minus which is just one frame and then over here the period key is trim plus which is just one frame and then trim plus many which is multiple frames if you want to adjust um, the many keys because it doesn't say how many frames it is you can just go into user preferences edit tab multi frame trim size and uh, just adjust it there I think Avid is set to 8 I have mine set to 5 but you can just adjust it to your liking. Okay, now that we've gotten all that out of the way, oh, um, by the way, uh, this keyboard layout is very similar to the uh, one that Scott Simmons has on his blog, the edit blog. Uh, go there, download that. I did make a few adjustments, but it's very similar to his layout, and I think that that is probably the best, or one of the best keyboard layouts. Okay, anyway, back into Final Cut. So now, let's say uh, we want to use the trim mode. Alright, so I hit Command U. And now I'm in trim mode. Again, another way you can do it is hit E, which is the edit selection tool, and just loop around the edge that you want to pick. So now that we're in trim mode, um, I can just hit the period or comma keys or the M key or the uh, slash key, and, and both edges are selected here. So it's going to affect both sides. So now I'm just hitting the period key, and I'm going one frame at a time, let's hit the slash key, and then we go five frames at a time. Let's go backwards, we hit the M key, we're doing five frames backwards at a time, and the comma key does one frame backwards. Okay, so let's say now that uh, you want to get your video to play in real time so that you can kind of see the, uh, the edit, or you can see the video playing as you make your edit. So I'm just going to move all this stuff over and just trim this down to kind of... Uh, you know, figure out where we're going to cut this. All right, so let's go back into trim mode, command U. And um, let's say I, I just want to select one edge. I want to select the outgoing edge. So I'm going to hit U and then U again. See how it toggles through the uh, it toggles through the edges that you want to pick? And you can see green on this side, green on that side, and uh, green on both sides if both are selected. So anyway, um, as we go through this, you'll see um, that this is not like Avid. Uh, you can't hit the P key or the open bracket or close bracket to select which edge you want. You're going to have to toggle it, which, you know, it's a minor pain in the ass, but you'll survive. Anyway, so um, I want to concentrate on the outgoing one. So let's hit L to play this. And I'm going to say, boom, right there is a good place. So I hit K to stop it. Now, as you saw, the timeline does not get updated until you hit K to stop the video playing. So I'm just going to let that play out and you can see that. See? No update. Hit K. Boom. So that's basically um, a small little, I guess if you want to call it an inconvenience, you know, that's a little inconvenience in Final Cut that you can't see the timeline drag along and move as you're playing the thing as you do in Avid. But it's a minor inconvenience. Uh, as long as I can see the video play, I'm fine. Let's say now, all right, let me adjust this edit point. You could play it backwards, too. So I want it just where he flips it over. So, uh, okay, right here. He's going and flips it, boom, good edit point right there, fine. So now I'm going to go to the other side by hitting U, and uh, I want this to start just before he comes into frame. So he's coming into frame, so I hit K to stop it, and I'm going back a few frames at a time here, and right there. Okay, so now my edit is adjusted. And uh, if you want to preview it, um, you know, you're still in edit mode, and you just hit the space bar, and it'll preview 
your edit. All right, cool. I like that. That's fine. Um, so that's basically how you get the Final Cut trimmer to behave like the Avid trimmer. And uh, you might be also thinking, okay, well, what do I do with J and L cuts? Well, use the Edit Selection tool and hold Option or Alt, whatever you want to call that key, and just select it. And now you can make your J and L cuts. There you go. And if you do it for the audio, it's the same thing, it's just a little weird because uh, there's no picture, but you listen to it and you can kind of figure it out. So that is, you know, J and L cuts using the trim mode, and uh, that basically covers everything. Okay, so a lot of Premiere users might be going, hey, uh, what about us? Is there a trim mode that we can use in Premiere? Unfortunately, um, the rumors are true about this one, it does suck. Uh, you cannot play your media while you're watching it because in Premiere you cannot select an edge. There's just no way to do it. It's not set up that way. So uh, the only way to do this is to hit the T key when you're close to the edit point and the trim window comes up. Now before I get into that, I'm going to show you the keyboard customization I have set up here. It's a little weird. You're going to have to go into application uh, panels and go into the trim monitor panel. And uh, this is set up the way it is in Avid, so you don't have to hit the U key to toggle through it um, to you know, select an edge because you can kind of customize this here. Uh, focus both incoming and outgoing. Uh, I have that mapped to open bracket. Uh, close bracket is uh, the incoming side, focus on that, and focus on outgoing side is P. So that's basically set up the way it is in Avid. And um, if you want to you know, preview your edit, you can do that. And another small thing down here, trim backward by large trim amount. I don't know, I can't really... Large trim offset, okay. Uh, is mapped to M, same way it is in Final Cut, the same way it is in Avid. Uh, trim backward one frame, comma key, trim forward uh, one frame, period, and trim forward large uh, trim offset is mapped to the slash. So how is this going to work? Well, once you bring up the trim window, again, you just hit T. So be right by your, uh, your edit point. Hit T. And uh, now you can hit P to concentrate on this side, close bracket to concentrate on this side, or open bracket to concentrate on both. Now you can use the M key to go a few frames back, five frames. Um, or you can use the slash key to move five frames forward and you can see it updates in the timeline uh, or you can use the comma or or the period keys and do one frame at a time either backwards or forwards and you can see it does update in the timeline it updates here updates here and here uh, if you want to just do it to one side hit P to select this side hit period and you're going through stepping through works you can hit close bracket to select the other side and we're stepping through and that works it gets updated here in the real time but the only issue is that you cannot play the media while you're adjusting it which kind of sucks but you know that's why the premiere trimmer i feel is uh weak it could be uh, a little bit better uh if you want to preview the edit you can uh just you know do it from within the uh trimmer window hit space bar it'll preview it or you can kind of just jump back into the timeline and watch it and go boom okay that works um but that's you know so premiere is basically a very like mouse heavy uh editing program and i feel that you know, if they would add this small feature of um you know selecting an edge uh you can kind of set it up like avid where the you know with the trim mode and you can kind of uh you know select an edge and also play the media while you're trimming that would be cool uh, Final Cut can do it, Avid can do it, and uh, Premiere, you know, with the Mercury playback engine and everything, it seems like they're trying to get a lot of people to, you know, switch over. So I think playing your media in real time while you edit or, you know, while you uh, change the outgoing edit point and the incoming edit point, I feel that that would kind of help uh, Avid editors transition a little bit better. And also if you're like me and you use the trim mode in Final Cut, it'll help editors that do that as well transition over into Premiere. As it is right now, you kind of just have to use the mouse to kind of edit. I don't know how practical this is with the trim window. You know, I feel that this could be a tool that can be improved big time. Uh, that's it for me. I've ran one minute over. Paul Dovecchio, Triple E Productions. I'll catch you guys later.